The cute cash register girl drops the change into your hand. She places the change gently into Chad's hand after me. It's the little things that get to me. Go to the funeral of a little asshole 16 year old kid I sold Dewey to. Mac on the cutest girl there. Turns out it's his sister. Tell her we were best friends. I never knew he had a close guy friend. Subtly grills me and I guess I pass the test. Get her number and we start meeting up. Weekly meetups become almost daily hanging out, in way too deep. Made literal years worth of stories about me and her brother. Been dating 2.5 years now. Keep a notebook of all the stories I've told so I can keep it straight. Wrote it in a way that it would just look like a journal if she found it. We almost don't talk about him nowadays. Parker, if only you knew how much of a freak your sister is, you little fag. Go to hospital to discuss septum surgery with my mom and GP. Doctor asks if I have any allergies, no. Mom chimes in. Of course you have allergies and on, why else are there so many tissues in your room? Mom remains clueless. He fucking laughed he knew. One crossbow. Literally only wanted to shoot cans in my backyard. Maybe go hunting rabbits one day. Live in the Sharia state of South Australia. Have to apply for a permit to own one. Go to the station to ask for the application documents. Why do you want it? Just wanna get into target shooting. Just get a bow. Don't even bother getting a crossbow. No criminal history. Literally outright refuses to give me the form and just says get a bow. This has happened three times now. Why the fuck is this country so goddamn shit? I'm trying to do this shit the legal way and they won't even let me. At the store. Go pay for my articles. Say hello how are you? To the cashier. She doesn't reply. Scan my items. Doesn't tell me the price. Doesn't ask how I am going to pay. She just look away. Gets my money out and pay. Leave and tell her have a good day. No reply. Go home. Just start fucking shoplifting at that point. Is that why people shoplift? Be me. Have double masters in separate fields. Can barely get a job. In debt. And whatever employment I land pays barely more than minimum wage. Be my sister. Barely an undergrad. No degree. No job. No experience. But makes five to six figures on onlyvans with no signs of stopping. Why is society like this? Be me. 16 years old. Cute girl from class sends me a message. Hey, Anon. I've got two tickets to this comedy show, would you like to? Thinking she wants to sell them to me. Oh? No thanks, I don't really like these guys. Oh. Okay, sorry. More than four years later, lying in bed unable to sleep. Finally realize what she meant, MFW. Be me. Be walking around the city, suddenly almost perfect grill. 9.5 out of 10 walks in front of me, fat DSLs thigh gap, all that shit, notice how I'm walking directly behind her, due to the slipstreaming, the air which went through her crotch is touching my wee wee, mfw her vag basically touched my dick, mfw I basically had six. see you later, virgins. be me, 15 at the time, little to no real friends, no gf, just got mafia too, I am immediately interested in joe barbaro, start copying his voice, mannerisms, language, and looks. I basically start wearing a Hawaiian shirt with a leather jacket and jeans and acting like a stereotypical New Jersey or New York guy. I'm also interested by classic cars due to Mafia 2. Save up enough money to get a Carmen Ghia. Get a shit ton of friends. Somehow get an average looking GF. Get my first BJ in spring. Get laid sometime during summer. MFW Joe Barbaro got me laid. Be me. Latino, have rather pale skin, work at cafe, no white employees at time, some white guy places an order, seems a bit uncomfortable, when I go give him his coffee, he suddenly smiles, nice to see there's at least one proper American working here, brownies won't erase us, mfw he slides me $50 to pocket. Show it's called Mr. Robot. It's supposed to be about a depressed guy with social anxiety, has a well paid job, has a female best friend, has a Chad friend that wants to hang out with him, has sex with a female drugs dealer in the first chapter, after six scene they put some scene of him crying and saying maloneliness and anxiety, so this is how depression looks like for normies.